Burnout 2 is set to rip up the roads on the PS2 with an even more challenging and exciting road race than the original. We caught up with the guys from Criterion at E3 to quiz them on what's hot in the new game. In the new game, uh, it's a deeper game than before, so obviously more tracks and more courses. We've received many emails from people during the year saying, oh, you're doing Burnout 2, and uh, we only started it after we went to see the Fast and the Furious. So, there's 21 cars in the new game, there's seven standard cars, uh, seven secret cars, and seven cars from what we call the custom series. Uh, the custom series you see here is that these are cars that are, in England we probably call them boy racer cars. These are tuned up, modified, decal cars. Um, as we say, there's no class driving an Aston Martin these days. You've got to be driving a, a Mark II Golf with uh, 10,000 pounds worth of alloys on it and a five grand stereo. And this is this feeling we wanted to capture in Burnout 2. We wanted to capture these sort of tuned up, enthusiast modified cars which have a specific engine sound in the game. So, uh, and our seven secret cars, we wanted to celebrate US automotive culture. So we've got cars from all time periods, shall we say, that are very fast and exciting that people will enjoy. The courses in the game are set uh, American locations. There's a trend in driving games at the moment to uh, feature real, real cities. And uh, while that's very interesting, we don't often feel that real cities are the best racetracks. And Burnout is a game with traffic and crashes, so we spend time looking at interesting, unique parts of highways that may be uh, exciting with lots of traffic on, um, and exciting places where there may be a crash where you may make a mistake. So our courses this time, there are six locations. We have um, a city type course here, which is sort of inspired by uh, Miami, Florida, sort of west coast, uh, east coast, sorry. We have a beachfront course called Big Surf, which is inspired by California coastal roads, very twisty and exciting. We have a mountain course where it will be snowing, which is inspired by Colorado. You start off, you start off uh, at the d base of the mountains and you wind up this mountain road to a ski resort, then you have a fast descent down the other side. We have a very, very fast interstate course, which is very long, has lots of tunnels, and um, the cars run exceptionally well on this course. We have a desert course, which is hot and dusty. And then finally, we have an airport course, because we figured an airport's a place where there's lots of traffic, lots of people who don't know where they're going, and there's lots of chances for fast and exciting driving. These effects have only really been seen on the Xbox so far, so I think people would be surprised when they see the finished game and see what's happening. There's a lot of uh, visual effects and uh, graphics can still come out on PlayStation, so we're still only scratching the service. It's much more exciting, it's much more dynamic, the car will fly apart, bits will fly off, the bonnet will fly off, the fenders fall off, the wheels can bounce off. Burnout's about driving like a hooligan. Burnout's about driving like a nutcase with no regard for anybody else on the road. So the first mode of the game is called Offensive Driving 101. And you drive uh, an American learner driver car. Whenever you see learner driver cars on the road in the UK, they're always holding up the traffic and getting it wrong. You always want to ram them off the road. So this time we give the players at the start of the game the chance to drive this learner driver car and we just refresh them with the game main gameplay mechanics of the game. That driving dangerously earns you boost and when you get boost, you get points and you can drive even quicker and set the best time. And also, um, one of the feedbacks we have is that people wanted to drive a police car in the first game. So one of the new cars we have in Burnout is a, a US police car. And if you ever remember the classic Tato game, Chase HQ from 1986, we have an all new pursuit mode where one player gets to drive a police car and the second player gets to try and escape. And it's a very fast, very thrilling uh, two player experience where uh, you're battling together trying to make the other guy crash. So the police, has to, the police car has to try and stop the opponent before he gets to the end of the game. And again, what's new in Burnout 2 is we have point-to-point -point races from A to B. So it's not a lap-based circuit experience. You drive from A to B. If we were going to race from the convention center here to Hollywood, we'd go from here to there. We wouldn't come back and do three laps. So we're doing point-to-point -point courses this time. And that's something that people requested in the first game.